Hi guys, this little thing here is called the Axun Simo, and this device turns this device, your iPhone or an iPad, not only into a great external monitor, but also a streaming device. You can stream straight from your phone or your iPad, and also it's a recorder. You can record up to 1080 60, but not just regular. 1080 60 if you set up your camera to shoot in 4k you can downscale your 4k to 1080 to get sharper 1080 footage from your camera let's talk about this so i want to thank per gear for sending over this exciting little product now i will show you the monitor features in a minute but i will tell you about the two headline features that i think are in this little device and that the first and foremost is uh, going to be getting better 1080 footage out of your camera so a lot of people on my channel they they have sony cameras and they don't like the 1080 footage coming out of most of them and it's true the 1080 footage is often quite soft on sony cameras but people want to output in 1080 or they don't want to edit 4k files i've heard this time and time again but they don't know what else to do they don't know how to work around it well what you can do is set up your camera to shoot in 4k so i set it up to shoot 4k 24 frames per second and then i set up the device to capture on the phone the image from the camera at 1080 24 frames per second so it downscales the 4k to 1080 giving you a sharper 1080 let's take a look at that right now so on the left here is the image coming from the sd card on the zv e10 it is 4k 24 frames per second at 100 megabits per second here on the right is the iphone image it is a 1080 24 frames per second 30 megabits so it's actually uh, less than a third of the file size and it competes quite nicely because it is down resing the 4k image to the 1080 footage so uh, that's great look at how sharp it let's zoom in 300 percent on my gorgeous eyes i don't hear you complaining and uh, we can see that it actually is holding up very nicely to the 4k footage and now here's the real test because i will show the 1080 on the zve 10 versus the uh, down scaled 1080 on the phone now on the left is the zve 10s 1080 from the sd card and the iphone on the right and when i zoom in you can see that definitely the 1080 is sharper the down resed 1080 is sharper than uh, the 1080 coming straight from the Sony camera. So this is quite a hack to get around the idea that you can't record sharp 1080 footage on the Sony cameras. Now let's talk about the other banner feature to me that makes this a big selling point, and that is live streaming. You can just uh, go in, do a live stream to Facebook or YouTube or a custom link, type in your streaming code, and you have a mobile streaming device. So you can capture the image up to 1080, 60 frames per second on your camera, output that, to uh, the live streaming webs. Let everybody know your nonsense live all over the world. Now I'll give you a brief overview of the product while I show you a photo of one of the top models in Toronto that I happened to photograph yesterday. All right, now that we're looking at the picture of our gorgeous model, don't know how we got him on such short notice. Let's take a look at the lag here. So there's the hand going in front. Oh, you know what? That is really not bad at all. There's nothing to complain about right there. That is pretty good. Nice. I figured the lag would be worse with the iPhone. Very nice. So now just quickly, this is a monitor with pretty much every monitoring tool that you could hope for and a few extra. You can turn on things like false color if you want. There's also, you can zoom in and since it's an iPhone, the screen resolution is great and it's uh, very responsive. You can have overlays, you can take screenshots, you can do the onion skinning where you want to keep one product uh, in a certain situation and then maybe you're switching cameras switching angles whatever and then you can reference where you were uh, where the product was or where you were sitting before onion skinning is very useful you can change all of the adding and deleting of all of the things on the main menu you'll notice here it says 10 80 24 frames per second here on the sony you definitely want to go to your hdmi settings and instead of auto go down to 1080 coming out of the hdmi at 24 frames per second if that's what you want and then that now the uh, phone will record the 1080 24 signal instead of uh, 1080 60 which is the default man i could look at that picture all day 
So pretty much every monitoring assist tool that you could look for. It also has differences between legal and normal range. Legal, if you want to shoot real log footage, you'll be able to monitor it uh, with the exposure tools properly. So I'll show you the device itself here. It takes uh, Sony NPF batteries, and I have about a billion of those. And uh, it has a phone clip holder. Just hold your phone right here. It has uh, right here is the video out. So this is the part where your um, cord would go in and then the other side of the cord would go in to your lightning port on your Apple device. And uh, right here, you have the HDMI and that goes straight to your camera. And here is a five volt. So that it can't power your ca your phone while you're recording, which is too bad, but it can charge your phone when it is off. And it can power other devices like um, a little microphone or a small light, something like that, which is nice to have. This is also modular. So you can just take this off right here. You don't need the phone clip at all. So you uh, this part right here can go right on to some of their accessories. Like they have an iPad holder because in case I didn't mention it earlier, this uh, can also work on your iPad. So you have a nice big iPad monitor as well. Now, I do wish this had the ability to bake in custom LUTs. You can add custom LUTs to view your footage that way. But when you record it on your iPhone, it is not going to record the LUT that you are viewing. And I think that if you want to output straight to social media from the phone, it would be nice to bake in that lot. Otherwise, you have to just use maybe a Cinetone if you have a camera that has that, uh, or you know, just pick a picture profile that looks good straight in camera, and then you don't have to do any color grading there with the image coming straight out of your phone. But Axoon, if you're listening, then uh, please, uh, firmware update to bake in custom LUTs. Now, is this going to replace my monitors for the studio? No, it won't, because I like dedicated monitors. Look at this. This is actually not my iPhone. This is my iPhone. This is the Portkeys PT52. You see how small it is. It's a dedicated monitor. I can just sit it up there on the camera and leave it. I use this on my little mirrorless all the time. And my iPhone, I don't want to be, you know, hooking that up to other things when I don't need to. And I also have a Ninja 5 recorder that can record my 4K files in ProRes. So I like all of those things for the studio. But this thing as a mobile device, being able to take around, this is all you have to take, this and a couple of cords, and you're going to have your iPhone with you anyway. And now I have a monitor that I can use and I can also, you know, record on the iPhone and I can also stream. This is just, this is a very innovative product. And of course, it is nice to have it as a backup anywhere on set. Just throw it in your bag, forget about it until you need it. Now, I know a lot of Sony users like the Monitor Plus app on the phone, and that is a great app, but that is connected by Wi-Fi, and Wi-Fi connections are unstable sometimes, whereas this guy is hardwired in with the HDMI cable right into your camera, so you're definitely not going to lose your connection, whereas you might with the Monitor Plus, and you don't have the features of recording and streaming. So good on you, Axoon, for thinking outside the box. I think this is a great and creative product, and uh, you know who else is great and creative? Pergear for sending over this guy to review for you guys. And you know who else is great and creative? You guys for watching me. I appreciate it. We'll talk to you again soon. Okay, bye-bye.